Okay. Okay. The uh, next presentation from Chapter University of Busan. Uh, next presentation about Korean culture. Can you start with some of your time to share? Can I start? Uh, now. Um, uh, 안녕하세요. 네. 정리 씨, 어, 잘 들려요? 네, 네. 아, 오케이. 진 마속 이니 비사 디몰라이? 어. bisa bisa dimulai kah? Silakan Pak. Oh yes, oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, Sang Yopsi, ini sejak hamen demida. Ah, yeah, I guess that. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Sang Yeop, and I'm glad to have this time today. In fact, it is my first time presenting in front of so many people. So I'm very nervous and clumsy, but I hope you understand me generously even if I shattered and make this tape. Okay, okay. Then let's talk about Korea. Uh, before that, let me introduce myself briefly. I'm Woo Sung Yeop. First name is Sung Yeop and the last name is Woo. I'm attending Dongha University and I am about to graduate in this February after finishing the last semester of my undergraduate school. And I'm planning to continue my master's degree in March. In my major is architecture engineering and I belong to a laboratory called Amsel in our department. So I'm studying corrosion. It's not going to be fun if we find out more about me. So I'll stop here and move on. No, oh, that's right. It is, if you do Instagram, you can follow me. Okay. Today, we will briefly learn about Korean culture and language. Let's look at Korean culture by dividing it into k way general Korean culture, daily life, university and army. K-wave. Uh, K-wave refers to a phenomenon in which things related to Korea, including Korean popular culture, gain popularity outside of the Korea. In the beginning, it was mainly expressed through dramas in Asia, and it since then, as everyone knows, the field has expanded to K-pop. These days, it is spreading beyond East Asia to America, Europe, Asia, Oceania, and Africa, all over the world. I'm sure all of you who came to class today have experienced K-Wave at least once. K fashion, Korean traditional clothes are hanbok. The left side is traditional hanbok. These days, we wear it on special days, such as weddings and holidays like Chuseok and Seolnai. I used to wear hanbok when I was young, but now I don't. 
Koreans are famous for dressing beautifully. When I went to went on a trip to Europe, I could tell right away who was Korean just by looking at their clothes. The right side is Korean clothes these days. There are various styles, so I don't really know all about fashion either. And these photos are all me. Uh, do you know what JMT means? Who knows? No. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. it, it is a new term, Jonmateng, which means it's very, very delicious. If you eat and use this expression, then Korean people will really like you. Anyway. Korean traditional food is called hanshik. Han means Korea and shik means food. Korean food basically consists of rice and soup and side dishes. The concept of the meal varies depending on the side dish, like bulgogi jongsik, samgyeopsal jongsik, bibimbap jongsik, like this. Bulgogi, samgyeopsal, and chicken are so famous that I want to talk about it. And anyway, Korean chicken is so famous that there are people who know KFC as Korean fried chicken these days. K house, a traditional Korean house called Hanok. This is also Han meaning Korea and Ok meaning house. There are tiled houses and thatched houses. Tiled houses are called kiwachip. Kiwa means tile. And thatched houses are called chogachip. Usually, when you think of hanok, you will think of uh, kiwachip first. If you look at the picture, you can see the difference, right? Between kiwachip and hanok. Kiwachi was a house where the rich lived, and the Tachit house was a house where ordinary people. In the past, a large family lived together in Hano. Grandfather, and father, and son lived together for three generations. But these days, most of them are small families and live in apartments. The picture of my family, my mom, my dad, my younger brother, and me live together like this. Next is K holidays. And the table is about public holidays in 2022. The colored part is the day uh, when the moon rises the largest of the year. It's called Sornar and Chuseok. It is calculated by the lunar calendar, so the date changes little by little every year. On Sornar, we do Sebe, like this, to the Eldla, as shown in the picture. And the Eldla gives money and word of blessing, like, uh, I wish you look good luck, this kind of thing, like this. Chuseok is similar to Thanksgiving. Congratulate on farming of the year. Like the picture, on Chuseok, we hold ancestral rite and make songpyeon or dumplings and eat it together. Songpyeon is rice cake. Other days, you may know what day it is by name, but you may not know much as about Samiljar. This is my parents' wedding's anniversary. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> but it's true. Anyway, Samiljar is the day of independence movement in Japanese col colonial era. So next is about drinking culture is important in Korea, 
So let's move on after watching this video. 상표 가리고 따르고 두 손으로 따르고 돌려서 마셔라. 아 근데 우리나라 술맛 좀 많이 복잡한 거 같아요. 아 드세요! 말해서. <웃음> 아 부장님 드세요! 아 너무 <웃음> 좋잖아 이러면 누가 이럴 거야 언제 처음 마셔봤어요? 저는 스무 살이요 진짜요? 네저 1월 1일 날에 바로 마셨습니다 음. 31일에 미증 딱 붙이고 저 스무 살 땡치고요 진짜로! 진짜로! 뭐야! 어떻게 방송용으로 얘기해요? 아니면 정확하게 얘기해요? 저 1월 1일에요 <웃음> 1월 1일 애들이 조금 져가지고 그때 조금 술 그때 어땠어? 아 너무 행복했는데? 딱 예상하는 쓴맛 <웃음> 그냥 알코올이었어요 <웃음> 방학실에서 맞던 냄새가 그래요. 별반 다르지 않으니까 그래요 이걸 않으니까. 진짜 대체 왜 먹는가 난 신기하고 음. 이제 어른이구나 라는 기분 들어서 이거 뭐 시켜야 돼? <웃음> 모르니까 <웃음> 소주 첫 번째입니다 오늘 14일이니까 한 <웃음> 그러니까 한 매일 2차씩 갔으니까 한 서른 번 정도. <웃음> 아이 친구 대단한 친구야. <웃음> 저두 번째요. 어난셀수 없지. <웃음> 몇 번째일까? <웃음> 몇 경째일까? 셀수 있나요? 음... 어만 번째부터 세계를 포기한 것 같은데. <웃음> 적당하게. 감사합니다. 아래를 잡고 치면은. 청아한 소리가 나. 여기요? 네. 오! 새우 많이 마세요. 그거 아세요? 빨간 소리. <웃음> <웃음> 한국의 술자리 예전 티 이런 거 처음 술자리에 누가 부모님이라고 하시는 어른분들이 많아요. 부모님. 부모님하고 마시는 게 맞지 않나 싶습니다. 근데 나도 선생님하고 마셨네? <웃음> 선생님 잘 살고 계시죠? 부모님이 아니더라도 어른이랑 시작을 하는 게 좋을 것 같다는 생각은 있어. 부모님이랑 마시면서 술을 배워야지 버릇도 안 나빠지고 음, 저는 음, 선생님 닮아가고 있는 것 같아요. <웃음> 부모님이랑 술을 먹으면서 배우는 기본적인 예절들이 있고 돌려서 마셔라! 음. 네, 그런 거 상표 가리고 따르고 음. 두 손으로 따르고 나는 딱히... 야! <웃음> <웃음> 술을 마실 때 그걸 하고 있는 사람을 보면 아, 예의가 있는 사람이구나 라고 음. 인식되는 지점들이 어느 정도 생겨서 우리 다 약간 예의 바른 사람들이니까 나도 잘 몰라서 어떡하냐 콘텐츠 망했네 씨. <웃음> 술을 마실 때 내가 어느 정도 긴장을 하고 마셔야 된다라는 그 감정이 생겨서 더 조심스럽게 술을 마실 수 있는 것 같아요. 두 손으로 받아라. 음... 두 손으로 받아라. 상호명을 일단 가리고 잡은 후에 뭐목 쪽이나 아니면 손 쪽을 받치고 약간 두 손으로 따두 손으로 따르고 두 손으로 받고, 받고. 이게 옛날 옷은 다 여기가 길잖아 한복이 아, 맞아요. 근데 그게 누군가 먹거나 술잔에 들어가거나 하는 걸 방지하려고 잡기 시작한 걸로 알고 있거든. 그리고 막 칠부로 따르고 구부로 따르고 막 술잔 세우고 따라드리는데 여기서 칠에서 팔알 정도 따라드리는 게 예의라고. 칠십 퍼센트 팔 10% 뜯어줬지 않아? 잘하네. 잘하는데 진짜 굳이 찝찝해 이 소리도 나면 안 된대. 아! 아! 나는 그게 사회생활 하면서 나는 다 약간 그런 건데 보통 어른분들이 먼저 첫 잔은 따라주시는 경우가 많아요 이거는 이래야지 저래야지 음. 하시는 분들 어 그런 분들이 아유 첫 잔을 받는 게 예의지 약간 이런 식으로 이제 왜냐면 가자마자 제일 어린 사람이 아 드세요! 말해서 <웃음> 아 부장님 드세요! 아 너무 <웃음> 좋잖아 이러면 누가 이럴 거야 <웃음> 그 이유는 말아주지 않으셨어 어, 첫 잔을 받는 게 애니라고 얘기만 하시고 이유는 얘기해 주지 않으셨는데 첫 잔에 같이 짠하는, 짠하는 것 때문에 그런 거 같은데 우리가 다 같이 왔고 다 같이 즐겁게 뭔가를 마시거나 먹기 전에 다 같이 이제 포문을 여는 느낌 <웃음> 아, 네. 음. 아까 그렇게 했습니다. 나보다 높은 분한테는 내 술잔이 
조금 더 아래로 향하게 해서 짠을 하는 게 맞다고 배워서 나보다 어린 애들이랑 술 마셨다고 하면 은 그러니까 김동준이나 위지영인데 걔네들이 한 번도 내 밑으로 들어가지고 항상 내 위에 있던데 이렇게 <웃음> 그래가지고 내가 밑에서 아네 이러고 짠하고 아 어, 그랬었던 것 같은데 이상하다 동준이 알디 그거? 내가 윗사람이야 짠할 때 아랫사람이 아래로 가야 된대 아는데 안한 거지. 아, 동준아. 음, 괜찮아. 네가 언제 나를 누나라고 생각한 적이 있었니? <웃음> 아, 제가 혼자 마시는 게 습관이어서 죄송합니다. 아, 이런 거 하면 안 돼요, 그죠? <웃음> 와, 이것도 이것도 되게 뭐라 해. 혼자서 따라 먹으면. 어, 어, 저희 어머니 자작 진짜 좋아하세요. 어, 근데 어른이랑 술 마실 때는 이러면 안 된다. 네. 자작하시고. <웃음> 근데 나이가 들면 자꾸 자작을 하도 돼. 기다릴 수가 없거든, 따라서. 음. 같이 한다! <웃음> 소리 질러. <웃음> 아, 술 조금만 마셔도 돼요. 아, 그렇죠. 꺾어 드셔도 돼요. 진짜로? 타이밍이? 꺾어 마시는 게 이렇게 따라주고 원샷 안 하고. 마시고 내려놓고 마시고 그가능한거아니에요못 마시는 사람도 분명히 있을 건데 그거를 못 마신다고 꺾고 마시는 건 예의가 아니야 <웃음> 이제 술을 먹다 보면 친구들끼리도 되게 자주 할 거예요 그게 막술 부시면서 나오는 거 같아 주량 따라서 마시는 게 좋은 거 같아요 야 이거 따라서 왔다 싶으면 첫 잔은 원샷이고 그 이후에는 조절하면서 마시 꺾어 마시는데 그걸 유독 싫어하시는 분들이 있고 나도 싫어했었어 근데 난 꺾어 마시는 걸 싫어하는 게 그거야 남아있으면 술이 맛이 없어져 그 꺾어서 마시면 요 정도밖에 못 먹어요 <웃음> 술자리 예절을 어린 사람들이 더잘 알아 왜냐면은 술 마실 때된 사람들이 막 그런 얘기를 한단 말이야 사회생활하면서나 나보다 나이가 있는 사람들이랑 술 마시면서 자연스럽게 알게 되는 게 많은 느낌? 주량 체크하는 법이요? 한두 단이요? 체한다 사람들이 많이 오해를 하는데 제가 그렇게 막 마시고 이런 스타일이 아니어가지고 되게 나 같은 사람 전 한병이요 <웃음> 진짜 상태 좋으면 그래, 이거네. 진짜 어. <웃음> 최대한 <웃음> 먹은 건아 최대로 많이 먹은 양이요? 둘이서 열일곱 병 마셨을 때? <웃음> 근데 주량이라는 게 원래 술, 술이라는 술게 컨디션 빠를 되게 많이 받아서 <웃음> 그 이후에는 그렇게 안 되더라고 <웃음> 그리고 그날 취했어요? 취 <웃음> <웃음> 취해서 마신 것 같아요 <웃음> 근데 저는 딱 취할 것 같다 내가 뭔가 이거 더 마시면 속이 안 좋을 것 같다 취할 것 같다 하면 은 저는 그 다음부터는 안 마셔요 본인이 주량을 알면 그 정도까지 마시고 저는 더못 마실 것 같아요 라고 내려놔도 되는데 그걸 모르면 그냥 그 상황이랑 분위기에 휩쓸려서 계속 먹게 된단 말이야 안 마신다거나 아니면 그냥 들어서 계속 짠만 하고 내려놓고 내가 따라 드리지 자기가 어느 선에서 취한다 안 취한다를 알아야 그걸 안할수 있어요 같이 이렇게 들고 이렇게 짠 하고 다시 나도 내려놓고 또 따라 드리고 이런 식 꿀팁이네요 어, 꿀팁이지 꿀팁이지 근데 자기 주량을 어? 누군가랑 함께 <웃음> 알아보는 것도 좋은 것 같아요 술 부신 술 부신 안 부려요? 아, 저는 어디 가서든 저보다 제가 먹는 양의 반병 줄여서 얘기 술 처음 먹는 사람들한테 항상 하는 얘기가 술잘 먹는다고 얘기하지 마 음, 계속 먹어봐 음, 보통 새로운 사람을 만나거나 아, 술자리에 가면 되게 어색할 때 술자리에서 첫 질문이 거의 아, 술 얼마나 드세요? 음. 아, 나 오늘 네병 먹었어 막 그런 거 있잖아요 으, 음. 꼴뱅이 싫어 아, 약간 무식하게 했어 얼굴 빨개지거나 이런 사람들한테 야, 이거 좀 있으면 하얘져 야, 오늘은 먹고 죽어 야, 소주 한 번, 아, 네병 시킬까? 약간 이런 거 <웃음> 그리고 술자리에 가게 되면 은 앉는 위치 중요하고 아, 난 무조건 바깥쪽 음, 아, 저도 화장실 많이 가가지고 어, 저도 화장실 되게 많이 가가지고 동준 결은 상종을 하지 마세요 <웃음> 나 같은 사람 옆에 앉으면 안 돼. 테이블 사각형 테이블에 앉으면 제가 여기 앉아요. 그럼 여기랑 여기랑 여기는 앉으면 안 되는 상태. 너왜 오늘 술안 마셔? 음. 너왜 밑장 깔았어? 음, 너왜안 마셨어? 너 이거 몇잔 재지? 좀 매기는 스타일이야, 걔들아. 어... <웃음>
<웃음> 아, 잠시만요. 나갈게요. 잠시만요. 이렇게 안 해도 어, 그냥 내가 은근슬쩍 스리슬쩍 슥 이렇게 빠지면 모르는 약간 그 정도? 나는 빨리가 더 위험해. 빨리 마신다고 해서 적게 마시는 거 아니잖아. 빨리 마시는 게 위험한 거 같아. 마, 어차피 많이 마시는 그 수량을 그 시간에 채운단 말이야. 맞아. 그러니까 는 빨리 마시는 게더 위험한 거네. 그걸 빨리 마시면 얘가 그걸 쉴 시간이 하나도 없으니까 더 빨리 취하는 거 같더라고. 야 우리 한 시간밖에 없어. 한 시간 뒤 막차야. 빨리 마셔. 이런 다음에 새벽 다 마시고 가잖아. 그러니까 빨리 마시는 게더 위험하네요. 그러니까 빨리 마시면 취한다는 게 맞는 말이야. 나도 지금 새해 복 많이 받아요. 아 나이가 여덟 살이 차인데 내두 손을 받을 필요 없잖아. <웃음> 건강하세요. 건강하세요? 야 술따라 치면서 건강하세요는 뭐야? 아, 아 한손으로 따라요. 아. 우리 완전 비즈니스적인 관계잖아. 아 제가 밑에 할게요. 네네네. 네, 네. <웃음> 레디큐가 좋다고 들었어요. 그 아하 선생님께서 컨디션 컨디션 말고 뭐지? 환으로 된 거? 상쾌한 상쾌한 무조건 술 먹기 전에 상쾌한 먹고서 그런다고 하더라고요. 오환 오환 요즘 광고 제일 많이 나오잖아. 그걸 먹어야지 더 오래 먹고 다음 날에. 편해요. 저는 해도 소용이 1도 없었어. 이게 숙제 소재가 맞는 사람이 있고 안 맞는 사람이 분명히 존재하는 거야. 상쾌한 먹는 방법 따로 있어요. 컨디션도 먹는 방법 따로 있고 여명도 먹는 방법 따로 있어요. 그거를 잘 먹으면 잘 된대. 누구는 호환이 맞고 누구는 상쾌한이 맞고 이런 게 있, 있기도 하니까. 저는 안 먹어요. 안 들어. <웃음> 초코에 뭐. 음, 차라리 그게 좋아요. 차라리 초코우유. 이런 게 좋지. 우유를 한팩 작은 거를 마시고 술을 마시면 숙취도 없고 잘 취하지도 않더라고요. 아 근데 제일 좋은 거는 이거 한 잔에 물한 컵. 거의 물배 채우는 거 아니에요? 그 정도는? 근데 그래야 좀 오래 버텨요. 안주 안 먹으면 안 돼요. 아니 물을 많이 먹어요, 물을. 물도, 물은 많이 마셔야 되는데 안주를 안 먹으면 안 돼요. 어쨌든 안 취하려면 많이 먹어야 돼. 그러니까 살이 찌는 거야. 안주를 진짜 잘 먹어야지 되더라고. 술을 마실 때일수록. 명심하겠습니다. 저는 아직... <웃음> 저 하지 않았나요, 지금? 계속 하지 않나요? 약간 잘 어울리세요. <웃음> 막 그런 말이 있었어요. 앞자리 사람이 3년이 재수 없다. 내가 혼자 따라오면서 뭐라고 하니까. 근데 요즘은 또 각자 따라오는 트렌드가 또 생겨서 어른들이랑 먹을 때만 안 하네? 나는 이제 스물여덟 살이나 처먹었으니까 혼자 따라서 먹는 거지 옛날에는 그냥 진짜 짠할 때만 기다렸어 음, 내 속도가 남이랑 좀 달라가지고 음. 찬걸못 보고 빈걸못 봐가지고 기다렸단 말이야 근데 이제는 그냥 <웃음> 저는 아직 더 궁금한 게 아주 많습니다. 먹을 때 맞짱 하잖아요. 좀 귀찮지 않나? 나는 우리나라 술맛 좀 많이 복잡한 것 같아요. 뭔가 생각한 것보다 예의 예절을 많이 지키는 것 같아서 신기하고 어쩔 수 없는 사정으로 마시게 된다면 밑밥 깔아야겠다. 음. <웃음> 지금 들은 게다 처음 들은 거라서 신선해요. 재밌겠다. 즐겁죠. 재밌죠. 신나죠. 나는 지금도 술 마시는 게 재밌는데 스무 살때 처음으로 술 마시면 얼마나 재밌을까. 너무 취하지 마세요. 흑역사는 그때 이루어집니다, 여러분. 조금 제대로 마셨으면 좋겠고 본인의 주량을 알았으면 좋겠고 성인으로서 첫 자제심을 키우는 음. 게 나는 이거라고 생각해. 너무 이렇게 막 기쁨에 취해가지고 조절하지 못해서 마시다가 귀여운 식품인 만큼 재밌고 즐겁게 마시는 게 가장 중요한 것 같습니다. 그래도 적어도 재밌게 술을 먹을 수 있는 사람이 되면 나쁘지는 않을 것 같다라는 생각? 즐길 정도로만 먹어라. 아 내가 즐길 수 있을 정도까지만. 안전하게 재밌게 싸우지 않고. 합법적인 선 안에서. <웃음> 주사에 대한 궁금한 게 있으면 와이피초스 영상을. <웃음> 할수 있을 만큼 다 즐기세요. 치얼스. 짠! 6시? 1시? 1시? 12시. 12시? 이거를 착 빠르게 만들어지지. 오! 신기한데? 조금 더 세게 하면 어, 나 못하면 어떡하지? 오!
<laughs> Actually, I can't control myself when I drink. <laughs> so, so uh, you guys have to be careful when you drink with Korean. Okay. So, in everyday life, when you meet someone, you have to bow. But when friends just wave their hand like this. When you call someone, <laughs> uh, you have to call them by their name with C or Nim, like Rian Shi or Rian Nim, like this. Usually, people older than me at Nim and the rest at C, like. If I'm older than you, then you have to call me Sangyeop Nim. But if I younger than you, you can call me Sangyeop Shi. Of course, it is okay that call only name between friends. Now we will talk about university culture. Korea university students usually live in one room, dormitories, hostels, and boarding houses. I live in one room now, and I lived in a dormitory when I was a freshman. I don't think there are many boarding houses these days, but if you watch the drama Reply 1994, you can learn about boarding house life. Um, you can tell the difference between uh, one room and the uh, ghost tail, right? The one room is wider and more comfortable and of course expensive than ghost tail. When you first enter school, you will do orientation like this. Here, seniors tell you the basics of school life like enrollment or location of the classroom, etc. And after beginning new semester, you will have opening party. It, it is poster of opening party. It is called 개강 총회. 개강 means beginning semester. 총회 means meeting. So at 개강 총회, everyone in the department gathers like this and get to know each other. Of course, they drink a lot, so you have to be careful at opening party. Quatting. Quatting and clubs are the flower of university life. In quatting, qua means department, and ting is from a meeting. Literally, we have a meeting with each department. We meet like this when we were, are freshmen and date a lot. Cherry blossoms bloom in spring. It is around May. So students usually do quatting in March, April. We have to go see the cherry blossoms with girlfriend or boyfriend. So we have to prepare through quatting. That is the most important thing in university life. So I think everyone knows the club well. There are a lot of different clubs and they date a lot here also. In case of me, I was in band and singing. It's me. Thank you. You're welcome. I know. After spending the first grad excitedly, boys have to go to the army. Oh my God. Korean men have to serve in the military for 18 months. It's set by law. Typical types are the army, air force, navy, conscripted police, and marine. I left the conscripted policeman and I heard that it would disappear now. And 
Of course, it's me who is the most handsome and cool. And here is me also. <laughs> yeah. If you have uh, any friends who are going to the military, don't make fun of them and be nice to them. They are very, very poor kids. Like, uh, anyway, okay. So far, I've roughly learned about Korean culture. So if you have any question, of course, just feel free to tell me. And let's learn a little bit about Korean language. I will tell you the most commonly used word in Korea. Okay. 안녕하세요. Hello. 감사합니다. Thank you. 잠시만요 or 잠깐만요. It means wait a minute. 미안합니다. I'm sorry. 실례합니다. Excuse me. 저는 성엽입니다. I am 성엽. 이거 뭐예요? What is this? 지금 몇 시예요? What time is it now? 이거 얼마예요? How much is it? And you must be curious about the yellow pot, right? Okay. You can use only the yellow pot when you talk with your friend. Like, 안녕, or 감사, or 잠시만, 미안, 실례. 이거 뭐야? 이거 몇 시? 이거 얼마? Like this. It is okay. But if you do this, to Adler or stranger, they will let it slide because you're a foreigner. It's okay. But they see that you use words like JMT or Jomateng, they might think you are rude. And 화장실 어디에 있어요? It means 화장실 어디야? It is where is toilet? Of course, you can use 화장실 to your friend, they, they will find it for you. And, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹을게. It means, thanks for your the meal. 잘 먹었습니다. 잘 먹었어. It is, I really enjoyed the meal. 계산하고 싶어요. Or, 계산. I want to pay. Or, 해운대로 가주세요. 해운대로 가. Please go to 해운대. And, 저기에 멈춰주세요. 저기에 멈춰. Yes, please stop there. Uh, this is a good tip. Uh, if you don't want to pay after eating, you can tell the other person, 잘 먹었습니다, 잘 먹었어, before paying. <laughs> then they will pay for you. Okay. This is the most important, okay? If you eat the chicken with your friend, then before paying, you have to Oh, 잘 먹었어, to your friend first, okay? Then they have to buy. Because they are the 잘 먹었어. <laughs> That's all I prepared. We have some time. So if you have any question, please write them in the chat room. Okay, or not, it's okay. Anything is okay. If you want, I can show a picture for you or not. Uh, Rosalie? Yeah, I have a question. Uh -huh. Hello. Okay. Um, my name is Salende Rosari, and I'm from right. University of Vijay Kusuma, Surabaya. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, most of us like a Korean culture, starting from the girl band like a Blackpink, or like a Twice, uh, or a boy band like a BTS, a Big Bang. Uh, and Futu is like a Jajangmyeon, a Topoki, and also the Creed drama, like a, the viral one is a what is a Squid Game, the Squid Game. And we'll just love the Korean fashion style. So the question is, um, what do you think about the attitude of Indonesian who are too fanatical 
towards the career. Just that. Thank you. Uh, fanatiker, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, one more time, your question. Uh, can you type? Okay, okay. Because the... I will type. Okay. I think the internet connection is not clear. Uh, of course, uh, it is very uh, thankful to Indonesia because uh, it, it means they love um, Korean K-Wave, right? So it is very good. So I want today love Korean more and more. <laughs> so, so I mean, so very thank you to love Korea. So that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And uh, next. Okay, next. Uh, next, I think, uh, Mister Mister Songyeop, I will try to help you to collect the questions, if you don't mind. I think there are questions are for Mr. Wiener, I think. Ah, uh, okay, okay. 안녕하세요. 저는 Wiener입니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 반가워요. 어, 반가워요. 반가워요. So, um, Korean culture is pretty interesting and pretty big invention in Indonesia. And it's a pretty interesting that we get to know the culture and from Korea, like the food and the drinks and also the, the you know, like the, the traditional custom and etc. So my question is, like I see most of the Korean food that I see is spicy. Look, color is pretty red all over it. I said bulgogi, I like bulgogi. And my question is, is it Korean love spices so much? And mostly Korean adult drinks, eat spicy food with the alcohol. Does it mm. impact with the healthy issues? Or they just, because you get used to it, then it's just fine. Uh, of course, the Healthy? alcohol. Come, uh, Zamida. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, the alcohol and spice food is not good for our health, right? And Koreans eat that too much. So many Koreans has the so make uh, usually, and but Koreans love spicy food and alcohol. And I think this is because of the stress. The Koreans work too hard and too much. So the spicy food makes them the less stress because if you eat spicy food, you will wet too much and you will, <sighs> right? <laughs> right? So it, it makes them the less stress. So that is why the Korean loves spicy food. And alcohol also, if you drink alcohol much, the, you will <laughs> crazy. So that can be, that can people make the work from free from the work. So that is why the Korean likes spicy food and alcohol. Okay, thank you. Can I ask one more question? Of course. 
Okay, okay. Uh, Usio, I would like to ask about the suicidal numbers in Korea. Like I heard that the number of the suicidal in Korea is pretty high. Mm -hmm. What I'm asking is like, is it how, how big the pressure from the social, from the society expectation to the a person, to the subject that cause depression that people gonna decided to, to end their life. So how the pressure from the, the society actually is it very heavy and big expectation from and high standard from society? Mm. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I think it is because of a uh, culture of comparison. Of course, it is similar in every country, but in Korea, it is, I think it is more, more than other country. Because as you know, in Korea, we don't have any the resources or something. So we have only human resource. So that is because we have to study hard and we have to be more smarter, 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 smarter yeah. man. So of course, if, uh, okay. <laughs> so that is why they, feel the stress of something so it can be the compress of the life so that is why the suicidal number is higher than other country thank you okay thank you kamsamida oh <laughs> 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 um, so the question of another UD drama, right? Dharma is the first question. Uh, he or she question is, what do you think of for people who are just learning Korean? Is it harder to write using the Korean alphabet or difficult to learn to pronounce it? Of course, I think the writing is the most hard because the korean is hunger hunger made by the strategy through the is it boyan can you help me yeah 뭐 하고 얘기하고 싶으면 있어요 아 한국말은 이게 고향을 본떠서 만든 말이라서 음. 발음하기는 굉장히 쉬운데 그 맞춤법이나 문법이 굉장히 어렵습니다. 그래서 나도 잘 몰라요. 나도 되게 어려워합니다. 아, 그 so uh what he like to say is like the Korean uh is I think that I heard that the Korean is a little bit uh difficult even for himself. So uh writing Korean uh, is more difficult, I think. But uh, for, in my opinion, for the new uh, people who learning Korean, uh, indeed, both of them are difficult. Yeah, because it's new, is it new uh, language, is it new uh, character, and also pronouns is a little bit uh, different because yeah, we have uh, like a little bit a uh, different language uh, comparing with the South Korean. Okay, thank you for the answer. So I think you have another questions, uh, Mr. Song Yeo. Mm -hmm. You mean the Hendras, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, hi. I'm Hendra from Florias University of End, Ende, Indonesia. I really like your drama, but not my Korean drama, especially when it talks about folk or something magic from your previous ancestors. 
Indonesia, we, we still believe with the uh, custom and something like ghost. Mm -hmm. That became the second reason, I think. Do you Korean people still believe in something like this? I mean, do you still have a traditional ceremony in your culture that still used to magic? Uh, <laughs> I think it will be the same wherever you go. I mean, in the world. Rep representatively, there are Buddhism and Christianity. Of course, I don't believe it, but many people do. And like in the holy day, like Sarnar and Chuseok, we have a ceremony to our like uh, like ancestor in Sarnar. We do the ceremony like the chor. Okay, yeah. it means the <laughs> wish wish me the luck. And Thanksgiving Day, like Chuseok, it is same. Like thank you for the last year like this so uh, i mean the religion it depends on the people and the ceremony in Sarnar Chuseok also so my answer is it depends on people thank you okay thank you very much maybe is there any other questions? Okay, I think we have one uh, person here. Yum Subshi, Miss Chelsea. 네, 안녕하세요, 성혁님. Chelsea입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 아, 예, 반갑습니다. 오, 학원만 잘하시네요. 네, 감사합니다. 아직 공부입니다. Uh, I heard that Korean students spending almost of their time for study. And how many hours do you guys study for a day? Uh, in case of me, when I was high school student, I went to school at 7 a.m. And the, uh, and I finished it and go, went home at 11 p.m. Wow. <laughs> there is class from nine to six. And after nine, after six, we do ourselves. But these days, there is no, the variety. After six, studying time. So in case of me, I study so many times, too many times. And after 11, I went to academy for studying English or math, like that. That's all. Okay, is it clear, Miss uh, Chelsea? Yeah, thank you so much. So how much do you spend on study? Oh, me? Same, same. Yeah, same, same. With... Um, I think two hours. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> if okay. you study like this, you, you can be the Korean master. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Saturi, yeah, yeah. Saturi ga no chua ga jipo. Yeah. Chiga hambun tuko sipo. Oh. So, hango kaso ori so sarasa. Uh, I, I live in Busan, Busan now. Can I, so. um, uh, hear that accent? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Um, 
아, 이거 어떻게 말해야 되지? 어... 아, 익스... 에... if 아, 화장실 어디에 있어요? It means where is toilet? 어딘 사투리? 화장실 어디 있노? But it, you have to use it between your friend. And 해운대로 가주세요? No. 해운대로 가도. Like this. And 저기 보면 저도. Like this. Anyway, if, if we have a chance, we can talk in Korean and I, I will use a tree. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we have another question coming in. So okay. the question is for Mr. Abel Susanto. Uh, he asks, is there leveling in Korean language? Uh, uh, I, I really don't know well about this because I'm Korean. But uh, there are many foreigners in our laboratory. And they told me that they have some test for Korean, Korean for foreigners. So if you want, I can search it and I can give you information if you give, if you give me the message. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, I think maybe uh, the Korean level language, maybe other people, other audience who also uh, curious about it like me as a foreigner living in korean so we do have like korea leveling uh, in korean language uh six levels six levels six levels and it called a uh, topic uh topic mean topic uh test proficiency of korean language and including what level one two three four five six level one and two is just uh, for the beginners Three and four is the intermediate, and five and six, I think, is the uh, advanced. Uh, I think that's so far as I know. So people who got the topic six, uh, maybe it's like if we talk or if we speak, it's something like maybe Korean, I think, because I'm not a level six yet right now. All right. Anyway. Any other questions, maybe? So, uh, I have one question, uh, uh, honestly. So, as you Korean, which culture Will call which culture you are uh, the most you liked as a Korean people? Uh, of course, the K food. K food, okay. Yes, that is because of why I can't lose my weight. <laughs> it is so delicious. Oh my God, the chicken is crazy. And every night I I'm considered that. Ah, can I order chicken or not? Okay. I think other audience also agree that K food is one of their most favorites. I think <laughs> so special. All right. Uh, any other questions? Maybe from the audience. You can write down in the chat box, or oh, I think there's one. Another person who want to ask is coming from, wait a minute. Uh, Fadil Hussein. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yang. Uh, okay, document. Uh, my name is Fadil Hussein. You can just call me Fadil. Uh, I want to ask something. Maybe it's just like a uh, personality but not too personal. Uh, we know that uh, many Indonesian people or 
yes uh Indonesian youngster it it's no about Korean but how uh if we refer that that how far how far do you know about Indonesian right now uh how far do you know Indonesian about the maybe about Bali or something like that uh okay it's like that thank you um in case of me uh, the i know about indonesia as bali and the borunui is it right borobudur right borneo borneo oh borneo borneo right oh, borneo yeah uh, because there is a furniture company in korea named borneo borneo So and I heard that Borneo is the famous for the nice wood, right? Trees. So yeah. they told me that's all. And the country of Rian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I think uh, you can be learn Indonesian in this even too. that you can uh, share and care about any <coughs> any sociologies and etc i think all right thank you mr father oh yeah you're welcome thank you thank you there's still two questions coming up so yep she yeah Okay, yeah. I will read it for you. I will read it for you. I will read okay. it for you, Marie. So there's a question from Miss Aisa Fadilatul Istikoma. So, what do you think are the most beautiful place to visit in Korea? Are every place have its uniqueness? Okay. Um, I can introduce you the three place. I mean, if you really like the city life, the Seoul is the best for you. And if you like the skyscraper, if I recommend you the Busan. And if you like the uh, natural something, then the Jeju is good. So, uh, I think I... Because I live in Busan, I think the best place, the most beautiful place is Busan. Because Busan has the sea and the city also, so you can experience everything in Busan. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Okay. Okay, another Next. question. Wow, is there so? Uh, second question, uh, another question from Salma Putri Arta. Uh, why Korean people usually eat a lot of side dish every time they eat? Uh, it is just chur. So I don't know why. <laughs> so just soup, rice. Ah, uh, that is because of the rice is the most. Right is, I mean, the center of meal. Is it right? So anyway, so that is just culture, and we eat rice with something. Mm. Okay. So I don't know where. <laughs> okay, okay. I hope it's uh answered. Uh, with your expectations from Ms. Sama Putri Arta. And next one uh, is, a, is a question uh, related about uh, military or kunde. Are Korean people uh, from Ananda Yudi Dharma, are Korean people can choose their choice to be Navy, Marines, etc.? I am sorry if you have explained it before in your presentations. Uh, you don't have to be sorry because I didn't explain. <laughs> so of course, the 
we can choose, but it depends on the luck. So we can, but we cannot. That's my answer. Okay, thank you. I hope it answers you, uh, Anand, Ananda UD. Okay, so maybe last questions, I think, yeah. So, you see, last questions. Can I ask another question? Okay, so you are famous right now, so you see. <laughs> yes, so many thank questions. you. Uh, I once read an article that Koreans, uh, Korean people, are very, very competitive in the every way. Is that true? And when it, when it's true, why or are people are Korean people it's so competitive? Just guess it. Uh, I think uh, I answered it before the last question. I don't know where. So I will give you answer after this. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. And the last question is, can you give a recommendation soldier brand that is the best quality? Actually, I don't like soju because it is not delicious. It's very bitter. But I, I usually drink Jinro. Jinro. Every type. Yeah, please type on the box. No. It's good. And if you mix it with Terra, ah, the best. It's called Somei, the Korean cocktail. I recommend you. Terra? What, what is Terra? Terra. Terra. It is beer. It's a beer, okay. Mm -hmm. Korean cocktail, K cocktail, okay. okay. So, any question? Then... Hi, can I ask a question? All right. Okay. Uh, I'm Indra and I would like to ask a question again. <laughs> I have heard that uh, on the internet that your government have spent so much money to focus on your culture, especially to promoting the culture became go international like nowadays, like, uh, like we know that nowadays. So it makes people like us in other country know now all about, all about the culture in your culture and your country. My question is, uh, how do you Korean people make your country become so famous like now? I mean, is there something important or main point or a step that make your Korean people grow up yourself in entertainment like we know nowadays? Uh, the way you choose, the way you used to become so famous like, like now in the world? Uh, I think you. The, the key point is YouTube. Okay, so there are many YouTube stars in Korean and they do many, many contents. And some people do make the video about the food and some people make video about the uh, K-pop dance. And so 
and the, that K wave is popular in the world. So many all the world will watch that video, then they make the person be famous internationally. So my answer is the YouTube is the most important these days. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the questions. Uh, I think is of like special lectures today, this afternoon, uh, because uh, we are learning about the Korean culture, right? So uh, from the army, from the family, from the food, uh, but I love uh, the Korean food the most. Really, like you said, Sangyupchi, Korean food is the best, I think. And the chicken, Korean chicken, I don't know, compared with the Indonesian chicken, it's like quite different, but I know the, the, like different taste is another beyond level, I think. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, very much for uh, Mr. Sangyup for joining with us, uh, sharing with us uh, about your country, about Korean. And I have, uh, and I think also students can uh, learn a lot from this one hour. So maybe uh, we can all meet in another time, in another opportunity. So we can meet in Korean, or maybe uh, Mr. Swamyuk would like to go to Indonesia someday. Okay, uh, maybe I will give to the host again. Miss Chitra Stari. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Rian. Uh, okay, uh, the virtual winter camp event is over for today. Thank you very much, Mr. Song Yop, for your presentation. And we so interesting. Thank you for your knowledge about Korean culture. Uh, for the recording of the winter camp, you can see it on our YouTube channel at Cooperative Broadcast. Uh, thank you all for your participation. We can meet again next week on Tuesday, uh, the 20th January 2020. Okay, bye. See you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Come Samida. Thank you. Terima kasih. Annyeong. Thank you all. Annyeong. Good morning.